Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be looking at the Divi Shop module. It's one of my favorite modules when I'm building an e-commerce store. I've got a little e-commerce store here. It's got a bunch of products in it. I think actually we've got about 50 products in various categories. And what we'll do today is create a new page. So I'm creating a new page from scratch. I'll put in a single column. And let's go down to our shop module. And there it is right there. Now, as you can see, it's thrown in a bunch of products by default. But you can go down, you can select we're on the content tab. Latest products, featured products, sale products, best selling products, top rated products, product categories. For instance, if I put in sale products, you probably won't notice a lot of difference. Everything on there should have a little sale ticket. And there we go, because that's my sale category right there. You can choose how many to display. I think I'll leave that to about eight. You can use column layout, default one column, which would be just one big picture. At the moment it's on four, you could put it to six. For me, that would be a little bit too small. Yeah, that makes them a little bit too small for me. Three is probably good, but four, I quite like the default four as well. But like I say, you can put them in any order you want. And there's a, a version with three. Let's change the order to six there. Or the, the product count so we've just got two lines now you can decide to sort them by menu order popularity rating oldest to newest newest to oldest price low to high price high to low sort them how you will there and you can choose what elements you want for instance we've got everything included we've got a title we've got a rating we've got a price and we've got a discount price there and just to show you, you can do individual categories as well if you want to. So at the moment, I'm just showing sale products. But we can go down a product category. And here's the categories I've got. Let's do bags and belts, perhaps. There we go. And as you can see, you can add whatever categories you want. I think I'm going to go back to my sale items purely because it's got badges it's got all the elements that we we can edit there we go all right let's move on now here's the elements you can decide to show pagination now pagination is it'll show you increment pages if you've got more products in a certain thing if i switch the pagination to on you can see now that down the bottom we've got an increment where we can go to the next set of products because I've got it to only show six there's more than six so you can go to the next page using your pagination right there if you want to link the whole module to something that's fine you can do so here obviously if you're linking to an external site you want it to open in a new tab for a regular on your own page in the same window obviously you can add a background if you want to so add a quick background color. That's pretty ugly, but it uh, just shows you you can make a background color. Like anything else, you can do padding and everything like that. So we can we can go in and change the padding. I'm going to take that color away because I really don't want a color behind there. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the content tab. Let's move on to design now. And the overlay. when I'm hovering over it you see it sort of whites out you can barely see the picture there that's the overlay the white color there and that's the icon within the, the overlay so let's change our actual overlay background color to well let's use purple as you can see it's changed it to purple but I kind of like to see a bit of the image through there to do that just click on the color 
The right hand slider, or this one with a variated background there, is the opacity or see throughness. So if you take this down to a level of see throughness where you can see as much or as little of the image behind as you like, yeah, that works fine for me. But obviously, you put it however you want. Now you can choose whatever icon you want for your overlay. Defaults are plus there. You can have a little magnifying glass perhaps. As you can see, that's put that in there. And of course, if we go back up here, you can change the icon color to something that's going to stand out nicely. There we go. That's fine. Okay, moving on down. Image wise, if you want to, you can give it rounded corners. Such as that. I kind of I kind of like mine square. Any of these, if you play with a value and don't like what you've done, you can select it, delete it, it'll go back to the default for you. You can put a little board around your image if you want to. Just give it a pixel amount, the fatness of the border you want there and the color that you want the border to be. You can give the image some box shadow if you want to. It just kind of lifts it off the page there. Another option to play with the colors and backgrounds and what have you. Now you've also got filters on your image. If you like these, um, you can do hover effects with them by simply hitting the arrow. And this is common to all Divi modules. If there's a little arrow there. You can click on it and do a hover effect. Desktop is when your mouse is not on it. Hover is when your mouse is on it. So you can say on desktop when they're not hovering over it, I want it to look normal. When they're hovering over it, I want the saturation to go stupid and change color like that. But I really don't want that because that's not going to help sell that product and we've got an overlay. That's just another option and you've got saturation, brightness, contrast, sepia, opacity, blur as well. Now blend mode is if you've got a background color, you can blend it with that too, but we don't have that today, so we're not doing that. Now, down below is a star rating. You see your star rating right there. You can choose to give it a color. You can choose to give it a size. You can choose how spread out it is. And let's move on to our text now. And the text on its own is the common for all text. If you wanted to, you could line everything in the middle. Give it some text shadow if you want to. For me, that just makes things look blurry unless you've got pretty big text, text but it's entirely up to you. Okay, the title text. And again, most of these things, if you hover over them, you'll see that they've got a little blue paintbrush or a blue circle with a white paintbrush in it. If you click on that, it'll take you the styling for that particular item whatever it is this is our title and as you can see it's taking us to the styling so let's I'll leave the default font Divi has got literally a couple of hundred of fonts to play with there so you're not going to run out of fonts to play with let's make it semi bold let's make it capital I guess we'll make it purple as well and let's take it up in size a little bit there we go now if we move on down, you can do the similar thing for the price text. Again, let's make this bold. We'll make it a bit bigger. I guess we've been using purple for everything else. And we'll bring it up in, in size as well. And let's move on down. That's almost big enough to have a bit of text shadow, but that's entirely up to you. Sale badge, it's right here, our sale badge. Well, I guess we want to make that our regular color. Sale badge color, there we go, we'll make that purple too. Again, you can change the font and everything like that, same as you can on everything else. Change the text color and size. Okay, the sale price text, this is the actual amount that it's going to end up being and you can have that as a separate color I'm making this pretty ugly I know but it's just to show you what you can and cannot edit 
and again if you want to you can put a bit of text shadow on there if it helps for me I think I'll leave it off there okay moving on down sizing wise of course you can make these smaller if you want to and you can align your module in the middle of your column but for me taking up 100% of the available space works fine spacing wise well we can put margin top and bottom we really don't need to do anything else around there don't want to put a border or box shadow or filters or transform so I think we have pretty much covered most of our bases there let's save our changes and exit the visual builder and there we are there's our little shop module and these are great because you can show them in anywhere you can like anyone change your sorting price high to low popularity what have you click on the object it'll take you to it to buy it and put it in your car like I say you can edit just about any aspect great thing of the shop module if I go back to the home page here is you can throw a couple of pages in a couple of products in wherever you want really easy from any category you, know, you just can put a couple in there with another element just to offset things so like I say that shop module is really really useful I love using it myself so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.